function is just a command to substitute. So what I mean by that is whatever is inside the brackets on the f of x, so the x in that case is going to be what you substitute as x in the next part. It's really easiest to practice functions just by jumping in. So if we were to say, for example, for the first one, f of 1 equals 1 plus 3. Now, notice what I've done. I put the 1 in brackets, okay? So remember, one of the things to do is to always bracket the substituted term. This will avoid confusion later so that you actually understand what it is that you've substituted in and you'll know what you haven't substituted. So this is 1 plus 3 is 4. Now if we were to do f of 3, for example, so again, bracket, so we see we've substituted 3 in, plus 3, and that'll be 6. So let's try the same thing with the next one. That means 1 quantity squared. When I say quantity, that means bracketed, plus 2, which is going to simplify the 1 plus 2, or 3. If we took f of 3, that's going to give us f of 3 equals quantity 3 squared plus 2. Quantity 3 squared simplifies to 9, so we get 9 plus 2 is 11. Now for our final example, f of 1. So where are we going to put this? Remember, you just replace the x with the bracketed term. So the term that's inside the brackets on the left becomes a term inside the brackets on the right. So 1 quantity to the third power, or simply 2. f of 3, 2 divided by quantity 3 to the third power, 2 divided by 27. And as you see, functions are no more than substituting the term within the brackets on the left as a term in brackets in place of x on the right. Functions, therefore, simply need to be treated with care. They don't have to be scary as long as you take the time to substitute correctly and then forget that the function was ever there. Don't worry about the left side. Once you've replaced everything on the right side with the correct term, the only thing you have to do is to simplify that right side of the equation and that will give you the answer to the function.